I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna grab the wing and we're just gonna unveil it right now. Ready? Oh baby. Oh, is today special. Today of all days, out of any day ever, it's big. And I say that pun intended because what we are about to get into, cold start on the Z, it's like not really a cold, cold start. It's also like temperature 80 degrees out. I was gonna say 80 and it is. Yeah. I'm gonna reverse this bad boy. I think we might have a cracked rim. That's something for a future video. But, oh baby, are we about to get nasty? We are, we definitely are. Uh, oh, ooh, I'm looking at it right now. I'm about to unveil it. I got an unboxing today for you for the C7Z. We have, my friends, you've seen the title. Uh, I, I, I may as well not stall any longer. Let's pull it out. Dingus, wingus, wangus, wongus. Don't know what that means, la le li le lu. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it, we're gonna grab it, we're gonna open it, and I'm gonna drive you through aggressively the experience of what it's like to open up this. Before we get into this, just wanna point out, it's not that, it's not that big. Just give me a second. I give to you, it's in the picture, uh, the Extreme Online Store. You guessed it, you probably didn't guess it because it's in the title. The EOS ZR1 Stout Wing. This is pretty much an identical replica. It's carbon flash to match the rest of all of the other carbon flash on this, but the main thing we are focused on, mainly what we're focused on is the fact that it's a wing. It's large. It does what it needs to do. And it says 204, 204 ah, wide right there. Yeah. So we're gonna get a little unboxy chiboha here for you, as always. And guess what, my friends? We've got, we're gonna get into the doom of what we call an unboxing for this thing, wing. As always, EOS sends their delectable packaging. It's just pretty good. Give a nice little cut down here. Maybe I'll uh, actually grab the camera, give you guys a little POV action. I really like the sound of that. We've got tape to cut. So, once you do that, that's good to go. Here we are, my friends. I don't know. Matt from the future here, but yeah, Matt, yo, tell them to subscribe down below. There's a red rectangular subscribe button. Personally, I know you, past Matt, and me, future Matt, we really don't even care. It's just, uh, we, got, we got some cool stuff here, and if you want more content from it, it'd be advantageous for you to subscribe down below. That way you get these videos sent to you, and I don't know what else to say, so continue on with the unboxing. Have fun, it's, it's really cool. Stay until the end, see ya. Like the video? I don't know what else to say. Buy my uh, detox tea, yeah. On Instagram, follow me on Instagram, bye. Oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, kind, I'm honestly kinda nervous because I really like how this looks. Like, to give you a walk around of the car before we really, really dig into this, I love how this looks. The three quarter side skirts are off, they gotta go back on, but I really do love the fact that you can get just these attachments and put them on the stock. Don't mind the, the dirtiness. This car has been outside here. It's good, it's really good. This stuff attaches directly to the stock OEM spoiler, what have you. And then we've got that baby, Old Faithful, the breakfast shelf. And now we've got the dinner shelf, the lunch shelf, whatever you want to call it. We're having full meals on this car, baby. We're having full meals. We're fed. We're getting fat. This is just my birthday over the weekend, so 
we're getting really fat. I guess I should make this go. I guess I should just bring her upright and, ooh! We got pieces, we got parts, we got stuff, we got art. What is this? We have multiple units. I think this is, this is a uh, winglet. It's red. This is another winglet. It doesn't look red. And I don't think I'm colorblind yet. This is the lip and also the third brake light, I believe. Yes, that's what that looks like. Get that there. The only reason why I'm letting this touch the stone is because it is generously padded and oh, goddamn. Look at this. Look at it. That thing's. It's it's not even that it's like huge. It's it is like it's the whole back side of this. I can actually pick this up and bring it over here. And don't worry, we're gonna unbox it and all that fun stuff. But yeah, yep, you got it, baby. It is that and that. It extends past that top shelf of this car. It's gonna come out, boom. Probably right with the the front wheel well, the front lip, how that bows out. Oh my God, I love how wide this car is, yo. If there's one thing that, that has gotten me content with not even spending my money on anything else, like we, we've had F430s, we've had Gallardos, we've had Porsches, we have Porsches, we have Mercedes, I don't really want Lamborghinis. I don't really want anything like this. Now, after having this car, it's like I've, I've found my nest. The C8Z, they have stuff coming for that too. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't wait for that. I'm, I'm hyped. I am pumped up. And it, it's gonna be a beautiful thing once we uh, are able to get into the modifications on the C8Z06. But for right now, <laughs> we got C7 and we have some fun things to do with her. I'm gonna pop that out in a second, but first, let's uh, get this knife. Actually, I might, I might need it for opening stuff, but we're just gonna, just gonna leave it right there. Let's see, ah, and I think this is the hardware. I would be hard pressed to assume that, that is the hardware. Uh, what happens is, and I can kind of give you a more calculated rundown when I do it. I'm not gonna do that in this video. The install will be separate, but you pull that bumper off. There's a, you disconnect everything, the taillights, all that stuff. It's pretty simple. It's just kind of meticulous. And yes, after I said what I just said, I will continue to wear this Lamborghini Gallardo hat. Well, this Lamborghini hat, um, it's comfortable. So, fight me. Functional, probably one of the most functional things Lamborghini's made was this hat, but, what we're gonna do is pop all that stuff off. It's pretty easy and uh, some bolts under here, some bolts under there. The diffuser can stay connected. What's up, dog? What's up? Yo, 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 what's good? What's good, dude? Fucking things are attacking me, yo. Little, little velociraptors, yo, look at them go. Sorry for the distraction. All that comes off and then you are left with these two brackets that are actually part of the frame or subframe. I think it's the frame. I'm pretty sure it's the actual frame. And you have some bars that you kind of got to chip out some epoxy and the bracket is going to mount right on there. Super excited to do this. EOS, you guys are beasts. It feels like it is about to storm right now, but that's okay. We are going to pop this open. I can give you a nice little ASMR. Not really, but mm. you feel that? You hear that? Do you taste that more importantly? Yeah. We got a big banana right here, my friends. Time to uh, meet your maker. Oh, there's tape. Of course. Why would there not be tape? Whoa, whoa. My uh, my tripod is a little messed up right now, so I have you uh, have you guys set up in a an odd fashion. Don't mind me. There we go. Okay, so like I was saying, EOS always pads everything that they send out. I've had no issues with them in the past. I don't know really what the uh, stigma is with aftermarket companies not making better or best 
if not just as good quality as the OEM stuff. To be completely honest, any aftermarket company I've worked with, I really like their stuff. For the C7, for Porsche, for pretty much anything I've done. If not, I wouldn't run it on my car, so y'all can continue to trust me with that. Most of the time you guys are in my DMs, that's what you're saying. It's just the feedback is good, because we try to be honest, try to be transparent. First, let's look at the fit and finish. There's not really a fit here. We'll do that when we install it, but the finish. Now, you see this hole here? This is a commitment, my friends, because I'm gonna have to cut into that bumper. Like, probably, where's my knife? See where the point of my knife is? Right there? Maybe like in the center a little bit? Um, the good thing, if you don't, for some reason, want this $1,299 system that you just bought, you, you can revert back to, to the old stuff. The only thing is, why would, you, why would you wanna do that? I don't know. I don't think I would wanna do that, unless for some reason there's some sort of issue I haven't thought about. Uh, I've talked to EOS about the high speed concern. Not that I was concerned, but I mean, I, I, I let's just say I'm at events where this car can legally at times on track go in the realms of over 100 up to 175 180 190 so 190 is a rarity honestly for these to get up to 190 it's i don't need to go 190 all the time <laughs> if if you do you're uh you're an interesting one so there's some screw holes here and then there's 3m tape this 3m tape is good stuff and that boom right there for your third little brake light which is right back there. Now, the one thing, yeah, I am, uh, I'm getting a red brake light over the stock, which I can show you right now. Actually, the thing I love about the Z06 is you get the clear brake lights. You don't get, for some reason, I guess they legally can make those reflectors clear, but yeah, you, uh, this isn't clear. Not a deal breaker. It's just that, that looks so good. It's, it's icy, it looks, it just looks awesome, and we got this. So that would mount right on there. And if you want to compare the carbon flash, they both uh, they're both about the same. I would say, yeah, they're they're actually <laughs> they both have that that carbon flash hue to them. You can probably tell right here. It's pretty much identical to the other and now that I have this out in the sunlight and kind of inspect this fit and finish is good I keep saying fit and finish I just mean the finish yeah I'm into it I like it no qualms here and then when you flip it around the bottom it says EOS extreme online store 204 dash wide yeah, baby. On to the next one. Okay, the winglets. Notice how I said winglets, plural. That is because we have two, obviously. Thank you, Matt. I know you needed help with that. It's all right. I know. I'm a dick. I don't even need a knife for this. You can just kind of pull that off. Pull this back. And let's give this a nice little three, two, one deep breath. Do it with me. That was nice. I like that. More tape. More tape. This knife is just dangerous at this point. I don't even need it out. Trust me, I'm a professional. I can handle the knife. All right, some double-sided tape right here. This uh, does look similar to the Z, Z I was about to say Z01. This does look similar to the ZR1 winglet. It's got a nook in there, some 3M tape. Personally, I just first impressions, just first impressions, I would be a little more comfortable, maybe pop riveting or mass, you know, painter's tape and then drilling in and seating in a, another point of security to secure these down. That's just me, again, uh, high speeds, high speed mat, legally, don't do anything illegal, but the finish on this, Looks good, no nicks, no scratches. 
not a single scratch actually, which is how it should be. Again, EOS coming in clutch. Look at that. Look at that, mate. Just look at it. It's crazy. And then we'll grab the other one. Again, knife unnecessary at this point. I'm just doing it for entertainment purposes, so maybe you guys will see me cut myself. I didn't, oh, I missed it. I missed it. I didn't, didn't do the, uh, the whole wusai taking it off, but maybe we'll do it this time with this. Just listen. Okay, that was good. I approve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And then we're going to give this a nice little... Oh, God, that, that didn't work out. The tape caught it. It's okay. I'm used to being awkward on camera. Look at that. Mm. Again, just like the other, not a single scratch. The exact opposite of the other one, considering it is... Yeah, you get it. I don't have to explain that. I like it. Now we have both of them right here. You see? You like. I like. Uh, I would imagine this goes on the front. Something like that, probably. I don't know. I'm an idiot. I gotta see if these can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's instructions. I know you know what I'm doing. I know. I know you guys know that I am stalling. I'm not. I just. I, I'm kind of going as I can, but I, I definitely am going to do the wing wing last. I know you wanted that first. I'm just getting to it. We're going. We're going in baby steps here. Give us a little slice. Don't want to cut our products in here. This is just the hardware, so. Shouldn't be a big deal. This is a bracket. Um, I might need to move the camera down for this. You know, I figured we would do that. I figured we would just kind of get this situated. Ooh. And we're probably gonna have a lot of clones, a lot of duplicates of things. Got two of some things and two of some other things. Okay. The instructions. Grab on the website. Also, I'm gonna have an install video which you can get. We got some some bolts, some screws, some more bolts, some more bolts, some hangers, some more bolts, more bolts, more bolts. Oh yeah! All right. So that's hardware. I will get into that in the install video. That's when I'm gonna get into that stuff because I, I don't, I was just messing with you guys. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna grab the wing and we're just gonna unveil it right now. Ready? It's like Christmas. So funny story, over the weekend it was my birthday. Actually my birthday was on Thursday but celebrated it with the fam over the weekend due to things and uh, you all know what's going on right now. Crazy, crazy world we live in. I'm gonna need my knife for this. But what I was getting at is my family wrapped this up. Well, I told them to wrap it up. They wrapped up everything else, not this. They hid this behind their couch. You see how this is just sliding right off? All right, here we go. Gonna slide her down. Slide her on down. <laughs> the shape of this thing is wicked. So you got uh, three bolts down here, and also it looks like something. Maybe that pops off. I would imagine to click in. Oh, you know what? You probably, I get it. You probably mount the wing onto the the arms. Those arms are pretty sick too. And. Uh, once you do that, then you click those back in. The point of downforce on a wing is you want as much surface area available on the bottom. So any type of disruption, not as efficient as if it was just flat. So it's good that those get clicked back up. Just kind of like a, uh, almost like a literal wing. Wing, wing, wing. So, no scratches. 
She looks good. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this thing looks crazy. So if I have this out like this, you can see, yeah, she, uh, she floats. And I'm pretty sure this is yeah, this is definitely where how it's gonna face. That that was really dumb for me to even consider that it might not be because it follows the contour of the back of the car. Whew! I like her. I like her a lot. Same carbon flash loveliness that you get. Uh, a bit of a sunset, a little bit of golden hour going on here, kinda. We got some clouds in the way. If that even focuses in. Yeah, there you go. Chicken, evil chicken, bat chicken from the uh, last few videos. Fucking crazy thing, dude. Yeah. Um, Maybe we can ask the chicken what he thinks. Yo, chicken. She. What she thinks. What do you think about this wing? Huh? Intimidated? Are you? Come here. You intimidated by the wing? Here's the Benz. We got the uh, OG wheels on it. No? Okay. Yeah, she's intimidated. She likes it a lot. Gets her going. So, I would say this definitely looks way cooler than that. So now that we have it, I'm excited. We've got the wing, we've got the wing lit, and they are going to go like that. So that's going to be the front, and it's just going to mate right on right there. Yes, my friends. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, if you guys want me to get into the hardware, I'll comment below. Let me know. Let me know, and maybe I will make a separate video detailing that and going into that. I just, I don't really see a, a need to go into all the hardware. Like, we have our arms, we have those. What I can do is, uh, I think the way everything's mounted is, or not mounted, but there's like left, like maybe red is left. That's definitely what it is, and white is right. Right is white, yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Right side, um, you have these, and what I'll do, pop these open, because this, out of all the hardware, look, see, chicken likes it. Chicken gets intimidated, chicken gets curious, and chicken comes, checks it out. Eventually, where's my knife? Knife acquired, and we can just give her a little love right there. Bang. Yeah. Now these are metal. These aren't plastic. Let's move all this stuff out the way. Look at that. Get out the way. Woo! Good stuff. O A R. It says A R. Maybe about a pound or two. That's the one downside is. Yo, chicken, don't be walking on my wing. Don't be walking on my wing, dude. Come on. One downside is the fact that this wing is heavier. It's heavier than obviously a little thin shard of ABS and another, you know, yo, stop it, dude. You need to get away. I don't like this. I don't like this. Go back to where you came from. Stay on that side. Won't have any problems. Watch, it's gonna come back over here. Yeah, what, what are you doing, bro? Come on. We've got that bad boy, and that's gonna go under, under that, I think, somehow. I don't really know how that works. Or maybe it mounts up top. No, you know what? This is gonna mount on it. I would imagine that this is gonna mount on it that way, and then that wing will I just lost you there for a second. I don't know what it was, but my camera stopped. Battery died right there for a second. I don't know what, battery died right there for a second, I think, or else it was something else. But yeah, what I was saying is, uh, don't know where I lost you guys. That mounts on there, that mounts on here, and then these go on the side. Uh, you can't really mess it up because this is, there's a fat side and a skinny side, and on the wing, obviously, there is a fat side and a skinny side. So, if you mess that up, I don't know what you did, but yeah. And then there's the other one which looks identical to that. Honestly, I could start putting some of this hardware away. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna 
pain you with that, but it looks like we have two of everything that we need. And we have our rights and our lefts. Those are the mounting brackets that go on the inside of the bumper. Again, all of this gets pulled off, put in there, comes up through here, mounts right up, erects, and boom. The only downside, if anyone didn't know, you have a hood latch, hatch latch right there. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get into the back of this car, whereas typically, typically I'm going to be, yeah, loading from the side from now on. You're gonna be loading this from the side often and not so much over unless you wanna scratch the wing. I wouldn't do it, I would just load it from the side. Get that seven speed, that manual. Yeah, uh, that's really it guys. Uh, I don't know what else to go through. Uh, here is the wing, here is the uh, wing that all of you have been waiting for. All of you have been telling me, get a zero one wing, get a zero one wing, do a zero one wing. And no company really made one. I think C7 Carbon did, but I, I don't know, I, I heard, I just, I went with EOS, okay? Trying EOS out, I've used them for everything else, and it's been good. So if it isn't broken, don't fix it, you know what I mean? Ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Yeah, that's what they say. On that note, I don't know what else to say other than, oh yeah, hold on one second, Matt from the future is gonna jump into the earlier in the video. You're not gonna see it on this back part. I made that mistake before. Yes, we have that filmed up and earlier in the video, so you definitely saw that clip earlier. Other than that, I don't know what else to say other than I hope you have a lovely upcoming Father's Day. We got some cool events coming up. Hopefully the world is done being uh, ending. You know, not over anymore. I can't say the those words, any of the words, any of the P words. There's a lot of P words going on right now, and I just don't want to be involved. I I do not want to get political on this channel at all. But all I can say is the right things will come out of what what needs to come out, what needs to be done. Justice will be served. And with that being said, justice is about to be served on this car. We're gonna do the install. Not today. Cause it's getting dark. I want to. I want to do this fresh and early in the morning when I have all my willpower to dedicate to this and throwing things around. If it doesn't go well, it sh it should. It's it's fairly simple, and I've taken the bumper off before. Other than that, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Have a good one. Subscribe down below, like I said earlier. Red rectangular subscribe button. That just helps you uh, personally. Uh, this isn't my only source of income. Uh, I I do this stuff for fun and because it kind of creates a community where we all get to talk and whatnot. So with that. I'll leave you off there. If you want to subscribe, feel free. I I don't care if we hit 17 trillion subscribers. 69 billion is a really good number, <clears throat> but you know, just, just 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 being modest. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. I love you and coffee.